In order to simulate a conjugate heat transfer problem, we have to create at least two mesh regions, one for fluid and the second one for solid. Let's do it for this particular case. It's a typical case of flow past a cylinder. The fluid domain surrounds the cylinder, which in turn represents the solid domain. Of course, we have to set up all the required settings to create mesh in these two regions. If we go to the base tab, we can take a look at our domain. This is the fluid region, and this is the solid region. First, we will create a mesh in the fluid region. We need to go to the point tab in the hex meshing panel and drag the point to the fluid region, beyond the cylinder. In order to do this, you have to press Ctrl on your keyboard, click on the arrowhead and drag the point. We have to ensure that the point is inside the initial mesh. If it's not possible to position the point by dragging it using mouse, we can change its coordinates manually here. Now we are sure that the point is located inside the initial mesh. We are ready to create the mesh, so we can go to the Mesh panel and simply click the Mesh button. Once the mesh is created, we can take a look at the effect of mesh generation. As you can see, the mesh has been created in the fluid region. What we need to do next is to create mesh in the cylinder region. But before that, we should move the mesh to a subregion. We need to click Make a subregion in the list of options, and the mesh which we created will be stored in the subregion. We can change the name of the subregion to Fluid and click OK. This subregion is by default set to be a fluid region. Now we can create mesh in the solid region inside the cylinder. Again, we need to go to the hex meshing panel and move to the point tab. What we have to do here is to drag the point inside the cylinder. If the position of the point is correct, we should go to the mesh tab and click the mesh button. The mesh has been created. We can see that it is here inside the cylinder. This mesh we should also move to a subregion. So again, expand the list of options for the default mesh region, click Make a subregion and type its name, for example, Solid, and click OK. It's important to remember that here we also have to change the type of the subregion to Solid. In the list of boundaries, we have two cylinders cylinder in fluid and cylinder in solid. These are two mesh surfaces, one on the fluid side and the second one on the solid side. There must be a connection between these two meshes so that the information is exchanged between the fluid and solid regions. We have to create a coupling between them. In order to do this, left click on your mouse on the cylinder in fluid boundary, press Ctrl on your keyboard and click on the cylinder in solid boundary. A new button will appear here. And this button allows us to create an interface between fluid and solid. Click on it and the selected boundaries will be coupled. Now we are ready to start conjugate heat transfer simulation. So we can go to the setup panel and choose one of two conjugate heat transfer solvers. For example, we can use CHT multi-region foam solver, which is a transient conjugate heat transfer solver. When we click the select button, New panels will appear on the left-hand side and we will be able to proceed farther with the simulation.